Good morning, Primary 4. I am Ms. Inji, your math teacher. Today, we are going to explain the first lesson in Unit 4, Collecting and Representing Data. At first, we have three methods to collect data. First method is a noticing. Noticing, we must notice an event to record or to make uh, uh, representing data for it. Then, experiment. We must make an, 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 an experiment uh, to uh, make a representing data or graph for it. Third method, practical studies. So, the three methods of collecting data, noticing, experiment, practical studies. Then, this how we collect data, how we represent data. We have two ways to represent data. The first one, bar line, bar line. We can represent data by a bar line. And the second, double bars. This is for this year, bar and double bar. Now, in this slide, we have an exercise. Uh, represent data using a bar line. The following table shows the number of pupils in the first four grades in a primary school, representing this data by a bar line graph. This is the table which we have. We collect this data by this way in a table. Uh, then we want to represent it in a graph, in a bar line. Each grade will draw for it a bar. Okay? The first is 80. So we'll draw a bar for 80. At first, we must draw a, a horizontal axe. This horizontal axe represents the grades, first and second and third and so on. Okay? And the vertically axe represent the number of pupils and we write the number of it maybe uh, in the same order 0 1 2 3 and so on or by even numbers odd numbers uh, by uh, fifth by tenth as we want here we have by tenth or by twentieth okay so we will make it by twentieth here the first is 80. We will draw the bar till number 80. Second, 60. Draw the bar till number 60. Third, 100. Draw the bar till number 100. Fourth grade, 470. So we'll draw the bar for 70. But here we haven't 70. Where is the 70? 70 is between 60 and 80. So, we draw it in the middle between 60 and 80. Next example, represent the data using the double bar line. Example number two, the following table shows the maximum and the minimum temperature in three capitals during one day. Represent these data by a double bars graph. Here we have some capitals. Cairo, Rome, Paris, London, Moscow, and we have their temperature, the maximum and the minimum of it. We want to represent these data by a double bar. At first, draw the horizontal axe, represent the capital, all the capital which we have in this table. And the vertical axe show the temperature. Okay, first, Cairo. We'll go to the Cairo, and draw a bar uh, till 24. Okay, and this is the maximum. And the minimum behind it exactly till 16. Okay, so we have now two bars, double bars for the Cairo. And now Rome, the minimum is 18, draw the bar till 18, and the other bar till 10. Now we have double bar for Rome, 
Paris. The first bar, the maximum temperature 9 and the minimum 5. Draw the two bars according to these numbers. And so on in the London and Moscow. Now we have double bars for each capital to represent the maximum and the minimum temperature of them. Now we have a question on this example. Which capital is the hottest one? Cairo. Cairo is the hottest because it has the maximum temperature. Which capital is the coldest one? Moscow was the coldest capital. What is the difference between maximum and minimum temperature in Rome? Difference, it means minus. Difference, it means minus. So, the difference between uh, the minimum and the, mix and the maximum of Rome, 18 minus 10. It will be 8. This is our lesson today about collecting and representing data. Thank you for listening to me. See you next time. Bye.